From the NBC 10 I team, will he end up pleading the fifth? Gordon Fox loses a battle to keep himself out of the 38 Studios legal mess. A judge says the former House Speaker must show up to answer questions in the case. He is not named in the case, but lawyers want to know what he knew about the deal and when he knew about it. After all this, it's still possible Gordon Fox won't provide any new information. NBC 10 I team reporter Katie Davis explains. Gordon Fox must show up and answer questions. That was the ruling from Judge Michael Silverstein in the 38 Studio civil lawsuit. Fox filed a motion asking the court to quash his subpoena, meaning he wouldn't have to answer questions. The reason? The ongoing investigation following March raids on his home and office. Any testimony uh, concerning 38 Studios could be used under these circumstances as a prosecutorial lead or as a link in the chain of evidence that uh, would be intended to incriminate Mr. Fox. But the judge didn't buy that argument. With this motion from former Speaker Gordon Fox denied, it now appears that Fox will have to show up for a deposition and answer questions, but he may just repeat the same answer over and over. Uh, when you get down to the nitty gritty as to what actually happened uh, relative to 38 studios, um, he most assuredly will be pleading the fifth. NBC 10 legal analyst Mark Dana says that's the smart move because Fox may be facing criminal charges, but it could also hurt Fox when it comes to public perception. It does have a public relations issue, but the problem is, is that he would have a bigger public relations issue if he's convicted based on something he said in a deposition. The entire process could still drag on for weeks or even months. This may go back to Judge Silverstein on a question by question basis. What is this a question that might incriminate him? Is this a question that might incriminate him? Um, and so we'll just have to wait and see. As the NBC 10 I team first reported last week, internal documents from 38 Studios show Gordon Fox, former House Speaker Bill Murphy, and dealmaker Michael Corso all apparently signing confidentiality agreements with 38 Studios all on the same day in October 2009. That was months before a deal to bring Kurt Schilling's video game company into Rhode Island was supposedly first discussed. It's one of the things defense attorneys in the civil suit want Fox to explain. I'm IT Team reporter Katie Davis, NBC 10 News, Providence. And if you have a tip for our I-Team call, the NBC 10 Fraud and Waste Hotline 401-455-9123 or send an email to iteam at wjar.com.